We're excited today to be in Pitt County's first district park and this park is being made possible first of all by our county commissioners who about three years ago designated 23 acres of, of land for the first district park. We were fortunate to be able to receive uh, actually at this point two parks and recreation trust fund grants and also a land and water conservation fund grant that have been uh, matched by our commissioners. First component of the park was to uh, to clear the trees and build our first four multi-purpose fields, softball field, concession stand restrooms, and the first one quarter mile of our walking trail. Following that first grant, we were able to receive a second grant that's enabled us to, to add a playground, bocce courts, horseshoe courts, and extend um, our walking trail. In our thinking when we were planning where the playground location would be, we know that we'll do several flag football, lacrosse, and soccer programs on our multi-purpose fields and adults will be using our walking trails in the softball field. So we were thinking that there'll be younger siblings or people who aren't participating who would like to use the playground and so therefore everybody can stay active. We have um, the walking trail which, which is looped so that parents could actually let their children play on the playground while they're walking on the trail. And of, of course we would invite children to walk on the trail also. We're excited to, to have our first playground and we decided to do what we call a community build for this playground and that involves having volunteers come in and actually build the playground. So the playground that we have here in, came in uh, on a transfer truck in 150 some different pieces, um, large pieces, and we actually had 60 plus volunteers come in over a two, year, two day period of time to build the playground. It was a terrific uh, team effort. Um, we had the donation of equipment from the community and, and really volunteers across the age groups from high school students and East Carolina University students to our senior games participants that came out and helped us. And um, it, it really did create a lot of community pride and community spirit, which is what this district park is all about. It's, it, this park belongs to the citizens of our community and we want people to feel ownership and feel that they are a part of this park, which, which they are. So the community build was a, a, was a great um, opportunity to, to start that kind of ownership and, and that building of, of uh, team spirit and team pride uh, in our playground. We believe the location of our district park is going to be very important to the citizens of our county in that we are located centrally uh, for the largest percentage of our population. In fact, we're within um, 10 miles of 84% of the citizens in Pitt County, located here on County Home Road. We're also located adjacent to the Pitt County Senior Center, across the street from the Farmer's Market and Animal Shelter. We were able to save over $20,000 through doing the community build on the playground. So we'll be able to take those dollars and put them back into more facilities and equipment here for our, our Pitt County District Park. So that's also very important. <laughs> we feel that one of the exciting components of folks coming out and helping us with Bring Your Rake to the Park Day with, with the initial assembly of our playground is that, that it is really the citizens park. People uh, I think are more excited about using facilities that they help to develop and really that's what it's all about is increasing physical activity. So uh, again we have our walking trails now, we have our playground, we have wonderful opportunities for citizens of all ages to come out and be physically active. We also have a number of opportunities in our park for groups, organizations and individuals to help us add to our district park. We've got uh, on our plans to picnic shelters, we want outdoor basketball courts, uh, we need benches at, s at several locations along our walking trails. Those are all opportunities for individuals or groups, organizations within our community to contribute to their district park. One of the things that we're beginning to see with our district park is that it's about uh, the community coming together to help build this park, help maximize our resources so that we will indeed have a wonderful part for physical activity for people of all ages.